First thing I want to do is remove the wheel. If you have these hubcaps, just go ahead and use a 19 millimeter socket, remove all these little plastic nuts that hold the hubcap on, and then you can go ahead and remove the wheel. Set this aside, and continuing with the 19 millimeter socket, remove the wheel. To start replacing this forward toe arm, I'm going to put a 21 millimeter wrench on the nut side and a 21 millimeter socket on the bolt side. And I'm just going to go ahead and unthread this bolt. There we go, remove it. Follow the arm inward and you'll see this adjustment bolt right here. This one's pretty rusty. I'm going to use my 18 millimeter socket and remove the nut. Now with the nut off of there, hopefully break free the bolt. A lot of times these will seize in there. Put an 18 millimeter wrench or whatever tool you have on the bolt. As you can see, this one is not seized, so that is perfect. Like I said, a lot of times these seize up in here. In which case, you'll have to spray some rust penetrant, maybe even use some heat. Take this washer off of here. Let's get the bolt through. Perfect. There we go. And here it is. Now take the new arm, slide it in here. Slide the bolt through. I put a little bit of grease on the shank part of the bolt. That way it stays nice and free in the future. I like to do this on alignment bolts um, because it helps out in the long run. You're less likely to seize up when you go to get an alignment. Now you want to put in this washer. If it doesn't fit all the way, it's because the bolt needs to spin. Once you spin the bolt, you should be able to find its spot here that it wants to sit in. I'm going to put this nut on. Hopefully once I tighten up the nut, it will kind of pull itself in. Line it up to approximately how it was before. Obviously it's going to need an alignment. This is about how it was for me, so I'm going to snug it up. The torque for this is 81 foot-pounds. Right there. Now let's put in this front bolt that goes into the knuckle. And this might require some prying and adjusting in order to actually line this up. I'm going to use a pole jack and raise up the, the knuckle. That way I can more easily line up this control arm. Okay, so it lines up height-wise, but it needs to come out a little bit for that. I'm going to stick a pry bar up in here. And pry out like this. Put on the mounting nut. There are no threads in there, so it's not like I was cross-threading it or anything. I was just basically driving it in. Tighten it up. And then the torque for this is 81 foot-pounds and an additional 70 degrees. I'm going to torque the nut side. On the bolt side, it will be inaccurate due to the friction of the bolt. All right, so I think it was past 81, so I'm going to back it off a little bit. And then now I'm going to torque it to 81. All right, so that's 81. I'm going to set my torque wrench to degrees, but basically 70 is about a third of a turn, a little bit over that. A little more. All right, that's 70 right there. Perfect. Now let's put the wheel on, then you can go and get yourself an alignment. Let's get the wheel back on, put on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and torque them to 100 foot-pounds. And if you have the hubcap, reinstall that, line up the hole with the valve stem, and tighten up these plastic nuts by hand, that way they don't strip out. Down the road you go.